Hey everybody, this is Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I wanted to share a journal that I finished today and oh my goodness, I'm gonna try to be brief. I think it has 160 pages, so I'm just gonna try to really go through it quickly because this could easily turn into a two hour video if I spend a minute on every page. You see the cover, you see the back, it's a fabric covered book like the last one and another fabric piece on the front and the little charm sewn onto the front. Life is about creating yourself. This journal is not a concept journal. It is kind of a junk journal with just a little bit of every pretty thing in it. I wanted to just make it fun and interesting and something that would be just really great to write in. I think this is my favorite page, the very first page. Of course, you know why. Oh, I don't know where that came from. That's my my craft room looks like a thrift thrift store blew up in here. There's stuff everywhere. Anyway, uh, a little envelope there. You will see this little pretty bird stamp throughout the book. I love it. That's a new purchase. Um, this, I guess we could call this the wallpaper journal because a lot of the pages came from wallpaper samples and you will see a little bit of writing like this throughout the book. This is Victorian toile. I love it. This is from a very old poster. It's very large. Uh, here is some stock um, cardstock like scrapbook paper and I sewed two pieces together to make it long enough. There's a card to write on. Pretty little bird and of course it says sweet songbird over here. More places to write. I love that trim. More wallpaper. I'm not sure about writing on this side. I really haven't checked. I think a sharpie will write on pretty much anything but you have a lot of writing space in here, a whole lot. And of course, you know how it is with journals. You can always take paper clips and put things in and you can make this journal fat and full of everything that you want to save. I love it. I love journals. I love this journal. Um, happiness blooms from within, more writing space, and there are some tea stained papers that are sewn into the book. Just a lot of pretty trim. There's some washi tape. There's the little birdie. Um, there's a charm. XOXO. Huh, I type that a lot in my little messages and things. I love it. It's old-fashioned. There's one of the vintage millinery leaves. More pretty wallpaper. And a beautiful stamp. You've probably seen these stamps in another two of my journals. Here is some fabric from some bohemian fabrics I've been collecting. Makes a nice pocket. And there's some fun bohemian sort of trim. There's the other part of that poster. Pretty little cutout. It looks very medieval. This is cool. This is from an old uh, I guess 2015 poster. It was a promo poster. I don't even remember how I ended up with several of these, but I think it was for something local. I love the way this turned out. I started to remove this page, but I decided to keep it. I was working with um, ink spray and stencils, and it didn't quite let me take off all of the stencils I had put down, but I like the way it ended up looking, so I left it. Some neat stamps from way back when, probably, when would you guess, 40s maybe? No, maybe not that old. I don't know. We can look it up. Ah, oh, I love her. There's an old picture from a pattern, and I put a little hat on her. Life happens, love helps. Don't know if you can even see that tiny little stamp. And you know what? I said I had used all of this trim in the Bohemian Gypsy Journal that I did, and I came across this one, this, this is all, this one little piece in a drawer today. The bulk of it went into that last journal I made, the bulk of what I had left. 
But I think this is truly the last of it. Little stamp. Uh, Lo, a gallant knight comes riding by. How he hates to see a lady cry. He will take her part when her gentle heart quietly will leave them, you and I. I think that's from a piece of music. And you can just see as we go through, there are a lot of spaces to write. There's a little journaling card, the little um, rivet or whatever, whatever that's called. More stamps. Abundance. See the little leaves stamped up the side. Love this page. I love the bright colors. There's a pocket and a postcard from San Francisco that you can journal on. Love this one as well. There's a Van Gogh. Little journaling card there. The Mockingbird. That's from a vintage book. I like this. That's from wallpaper again. And there's some more fabric trim from the boho fabrics that I have been collecting lately. Nature and Poetry. There's an old library card. Pretty stamp. This is all about honey. That was in a package of like index cards I found at the thrift store. Here's a, uh, I think that's Dylan Thomas poem, In My Craft or Sullen Art. <laughs> so cute, that fits right in. I thought I could probably apply that to myself today. I'll have to read it again before it heads out of here. This is from a very large calendar. It had some really pretty art on it. Oh, you don't want this if you're afraid of snakes. This came from a book about drawing nature. It says, in your drawing, clearly define the pupils and highlights in the snake's eyes. Ooh. And I thought that would be a fitting postcard. Actually has some writing on it. Drive through needles, one of most scenic yellow aspen along highways, tall ponderosa pine, then these huge painted rocks rising up. September 16th and 17th, 1962. So that's really cool. That was a sticker and I just stitched around it. You can see it says restorations. That was part of the wallpaper. Another little card to write on. More ribbon. More of that calendar. And here are some nature stamps. More places to write. And I love this page. I never thought I would use this charm in this book. But this, of course, is from a very old painting. Just a little girl, a little babe. And I had this charm that says babe, but it's Babe Ruth. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to put it on there. I like it. This journal is fun. It's just a fun journal. And there should be a lot of prompts in here for writing with all of this different stuff. There are some more figures from that same painting. This says Museum Madrid. I love the dog. I just love the way everybody looks in this painting. It's so lifelike. Another stamp. I love this stamp, the postage stamp. It's the bat. The flower, so pretty. I really like that a lot. Daffodils, William Wordsworth. There's the Rook. That's again, is from the same vintage book as one of the earlier uh, pages. There's more of that calendar. Here's the stamp, the beautiful Bohemian girl again. Right. I love that that little word is stamped throughout. Popcorn Man. Popcorn is one of my favorite foods ever in the whole wide world. I love it. I love popcorn. Popcorn man, popcorn man, come as fast as ever you can. Popcorn man, popcorn man, serve it hot right out of the pan. Hmm, it's funny. Okay. There's some tea-stained paper. I love this. 
and more wallpaper. There's another part of that really old poster. I love the little bird. I love birds. There's a stamp. It says canoe. I love this page as well. Free squab book. I think that, is that in my shop? I'm working on a set of printables. I'm not sure if it's already in the shop or if it's still in the set that I'm working on. But this is really, really neat. I want to see if I can show you. I wanted you to see this up close. It is a lady walking on what looks like a new home site. It's just so interesting. I love just the silhouette. You can see the old car in the background or the truck. Really hope you can see this. If it doesn't show up, I may take a picture to make it clearer. More space to write. And here is a map. Map page. You, ha, huh. okay. Bohemian. Love this page. Just a torn out part of a really old magazine. There's another charm. It says adore. Le Jardin. Another little bird. And I like this. All this color. A lot of inspiration. More space to write. More space to write. These are wallpaper samples for your enjoyment. And here you can just write away. Write, write, write. I may actually put another stamp or two in this book. I'm not sure. That also says Victorian Toile. This is the black and white. And there's another um, library card. I love this little thing. Put on there with a rivet or whatever. Another part of the calendar. There's the mule and the bee. So sweet. Very old uh, map poster. Little bird. A little birdie told me. This quote says, where there is love, there is life. More of the map. And then another little image. This was from a very old um, print. It was really neat. I like that a lot. Postage stamps. Um, and I may not put any more stamps in. When I mentioned earlier, and I'm talking about ink stamps or postage stamps, I like for people to be able to add to their journals. This quote says, Keep love in your heart. A life without it is like a sunless garden when the flowers are dead. Oscar Wilde. Love this little bird. I just love that. And it says write. It's like the bird's telling you to write. Another calendar page and a little cutout from a book that's showing some different knots that you can tie. Love this page as well. This is a uh, cut out from what looked like a piece of art that someone had been working on, maybe a sort of an abstract watercolor. There's an old bingo card. More part of that old print. More of the calendar. Feed the birds, stamped on there. Those are uh, some type of blackbirds, not sure what kind. Le Jardin, and that page was stained. Um, it's kind of neat, I love that effect. That was, again, part of that old map page, and I sewed the little fabric butterfly on. And that's the end of it. I did pretty good. I didn't take two hours with that. Probably could have. This um, has a lot of pages. I just love it. And see that it's got a nice personality. I think it's sturdy enough. I did do one of the things that I love to do, and that is tie a piece of cord through uh, the center signature. Uh, sometimes on my own journals, I tie them through ev every signature. It's got a really pretty star charm here. 
and you could use that just to hang on the outside or you could actually pull it in as a bookmark. Love the trim. I just love it. Every journal I make, I want to keep it. But I don't know what I would do with all of them. So this is going into the shop. Thank you so much for stopping in and for looking. I really appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great evening. Thank you so much. Bye.